40 years of the Navy. We'll be in Los Angeles tomorrow and expect to be at your house at 12.30. Your old buddy, Stub Walker. Now, there it is. It's almost 1 o'clock now. Oh, boss. He'll be here. Why don't you sit down and relax? But, Roger, this is someone I haven't seen in, in 40 years. It's my buddy. We were in the Navy together, my first partner. You know, we worked as a team entertaining the boys. Oh, then when the war was over, you came out and he stayed in? That's right. You see, he made the Navy his career, you know. And, and you know, Roger, I think he was smart. You get promotions every few years. You work your way up. Gosh, 40 years in the Navy. I bet by now Stubb must be a, at least a lieutenant commander. That must be him now, Rochester. I'll get it. Oh, hello, Mr. Oh, it's you. Now, Dennis, what do you want? What are you so mad about? I had lunch already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dennis, but you see, when I opened the door, I was expecting an old friend of mine. A fellow I was in the Navy with. My first partner. And I haven't seen him in 40 years. So naturally, I was disappointed when I saw you. Well, I'll buy that, but why did you say, oh, it's you, when I came in last week? <laughs> I don't remember. Now, what's on your mind? Well, uh... You remember a month ago, I borrowed five dollars from you and I paid you back? Yes. And yes. then two weeks ago, you loaned me five dollars and I paid you back again? Yes, I remember that. I, uh, I hate to ask you again. Well, all right, Dennis. If you're short, you're short. How much do you want this time? Fifty grand. <laughs> Fifty thousand dollars? Now, what in the world would you want that for? Boy, are you nosy. <laughs> You're darn right I'm nosy. And I'm not going to lend you any $50,000. Okay, I'll settle for 10 bucks. <laughs> Dennis, if you'll settle for 10 bucks, why did you ask for 50000 Well, I heard a fellow on the radio say it's a good idea to combine everything into one big debt. <laughs> Company. Will you go, please? Oh, go. Okay. Oh, boss. What was this box of pictures doing on the dining room table? Oh, these. <laughs> these are pictures of Stubb and me taken when we were in the Navy. Look at this one here. There. Wasn't he a handsome guy? There are a lot more pictures in here I know he'd love to see. And I'm going to show him a good time. I'm going to take him to all the stars home. I'm going to take him to see Jimmy Stewart's house and Cary Grant's and Jack Warner's and Doris Day. He'll enjoy that, you know. So will you. You have been on those bus tours for years. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of that. Although it might be a way to... Uh... Oh, that must be him now. I'll get it right. Hi, Jack, old buddy boy. <laughs> Walker. Well, don't stand there. Aren't you going to fight me aboard? Oh, come on in, Stubb. Oh, for oh, heaven's sake, Jack, it's for. sure good to see you. It's good to see you, too. But, Stubb, that, that outfit. I thought you were out of the Navy. I am, buddy. I've been out of the Navy five hours. Been pushing out of this uniform for five years. <laughs> I noticed that, Stubb. I must admit, though, I'm, I'm surprised at your rank. Still third-class seaman. That's right. Forty years in the Navy and never been demoted. <laughs> see, how long has it been since we've seen each other? Well, let's see now, Jack. The last time we were together yeah. was, was at the Great Lakes Naval Training Station in 1918. Gee, imagine that. 
Yeah, we really had good times there, though, didn't we? Oh, we sure did. Hey, you remember that weekend we had Liberty and we went to Chicago and met those two girls? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. A couple of dolls. Huh? I remember we picked them up on the street corner and then, uh, after a while, I suggested we go to the movies. Yeah, and when we came out, they were still waiting for us. <laughs> Hey, remember that time we were with that convoy in the North Atlantic? Yeah. We were walking along the deck. You fell over the rail, and I yelled, Man overboard! And the captain said, Shh! <laughs> he did not. It was so cold, the bean and his whistle froze. <laughs> okay, hey, I've got something here you might be interested in. What? It's a newspaper review of the... First show we did for the Navy in 1918. That sailor show? I'd love to see it. Wait, I'll get it. Oh. You're keeping your shoes? Well, these pants ain't got no pockets, and I'll be darned if I'm gonna carry a purse. <laughs> hey, this is... Say, this is unbelievable. Pretty good review, eh? No, I was looking at that ad next to it. It says, suit with two pairs of pants, $12.50. <laughs> Gee, a suit today with two pairs of pants would cost me $53.54. <laughs> hey, it's a beautiful review. Walker and Benny. Isn't that great? Great dancing and snappy patterns. That's right, Walker and Benny. We were sensational. And Jack, now that I'm out of the Navy, my time belongs to you. What day is rehearsal? Rehearsal? <laughs> what? What rehearsal? Well, Jack, I'm back. I came 3,000 miles to join you, to continue our partnership. <laughs> Don't you remember? You promised me. <laughs> I did? Sure. Two months after you got out, you wrote me a letter and you told me as soon as I got out to look you up and we would continue where we left off. <laughs> I remember writing something like that, but stuff, me, I, you know, I, I've got my whole cast now. I, I just can't use you. Well, gee, we're miles apart. That was 40 years ago. I've been working, building up a career. If you wanted to join me, why didn't you come back sooner? I would, but there were wars. <laughs> well, gee, I, I feel terrible that you came all this way, but I, I just, I just can't use you. Gee, I was sure we'd get back together again. Look, Stub, things are different now. I mean, our, our paths are too far apart. I'm sorry, but it, it wouldn't work out. Oh, well, Jack, I'm, I'm sorry if I troubled you. No, 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 not at all. Well, I might as well be shoving off. Stub, anytime you're around this way, drop in and see me. Please. Well, I probably won't be this way again, but I won't forget you. I've still got this. <laughs> Stub, I, I know you were counting on this, but... Believe me, you'll, you'll get along without me. Oh, I hope so. You know, it wasn't easy 40 years ago when you left the Navy and I stayed behind. It wasn't easy? No, it wasn't. Nights were long when you went away. I thought about you all through the day. My buddy, my buddy, nobody quite so true. Miss your voice, the touch of your hand. I only know that you understand, my buddy. I do. All he wanted was to be on my show, that's all. Stub. Stub. Stub! 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 Hi, 
Wait, Dad. Come in. Come in, Stub. Oh, Rochester! Rochester! <laughs> Stop crying. Mr. Walker's staying for dinner. Man, that's what I call good eats. Hey, what kind of steak was that? Top sirloin. Your first two were fillets. <laughs> Who cares? We do. <laughs> Rochester. Not only do we count steak, we count peas. <laughs> you know, I've been waiting for this for 40 years. Walker and Benny back together again. <laughs> Incidentally, Stubb, in case we have a change of rehearsal time tomorrow, where can I get in touch with you? Where are you staying? What'd you say, Jack? I said, where are you staying? What hotel did you check into? Well, I didn't check into a hotel. <laughs> you didn't check into a hotel? No, Jack, I kind of figured I'd be staying here. <laughs> Here, but stop, stop! I didn't make any arrangements until your until your telegram came. I didn't even know you were going to be here. You can't stay here. I haven't, you know, I haven't got any accommodation. I mean, there just aren't Nights any. Nights were long. <laughs> Solitary confinement? No, oh, Jack in solitary. Yeah, they had him in this little dark cell for three days, and when they took him out, you should have heard him complain. C complain? Yeah, he was making a fortune developing pictures. Oh. Can you shut this guy up so we can get back to rehearsal? Well, he's only reminiscing. Yeah, but baby, we're an hour and a half late. Uh, look, we're never going to get this show on the air tonight. All right, everybody, let's try the courtroom scene yeah, but again. but I'm not through with the story. Can you finish it later? Hey, do you know your new line? Oh, got it, buddy boy. Got it. All right, places, everybody. Come on. Uh, let's take it from where the judge is rapping for order. Okay. Order in the court. We will continue with the case of the state versus Bugsy Brannigan. Guards bring in the defense. I didn't do it! I didn't do it! It's a frame up! Let go of me! I didn't do it! Hold it! you please? Guilty. <laughs> well, he does not. I'm his attorney and he pleads not guilty. And I can prove that he was nowhere near the scene of the crime. He couldn't have committed it. I'd like to call in our first witness, Miss Bertha Scott. <laughs> Step, baby, just just a little closer. Like this? That's fine. Now, your line. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the truth. It's truth. Do you swear to tell the truth? That's what I said, truth. No, no, no. No, stop. Look. It's not truth. With a T, it's truth. T H truth. Th, th, th. See, now try it. Truth. <laughs> At least he got it. I got it too. <laughs> All right, let's take it again. Come on, places, everybody. Let's take it again. All right, Dennis, come on. How you do it? How you do it? It's a frame. I want to do it. No, no, wait, wait. No, wait. Please. I meant, let's pick it up from where we left off. Come on, everybody, place it. Oh, look, look, you, you just forget that. You don't have to keep on rehearsing that. Oh, not for this, but next week I'm going to court for a traffic ticket. <laughs> oh, stop. All right, let's 
Let's pick it up with Don's line. Come on, everybody. Let's get uh, hey, toes, everybody. On your toes. Well, the bailiff, please swear in the witness. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? <laughs> oh, hold that. Hold oh. oh, that. Norman, look, maybe we ought to try him in some other part. Jack, they... Everybody, take five, huh? Look, Jack, we've tried him as a defendant. We've tried him as the judge. Every time he's got a line of over four words, he louses it up. Jack, let's face it. We can't use your friend in the show. Well, all right. I'll, I'll just have to go over and tell him. Stop. Oh, Jack. What? I was just thinking, as long as I'm going to be on these shows with you, I better get a nice toupee. You know, one of those hundred and fifty dollars. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't rush off and spend any money. Don't buy anything because, look, there's something I want to tell you. Well, what is it, Jack? Now look, I know I promised you a part in the show, and I tried. But you can see for yourself, Stubb, it just isn't working out. And as I said yesterday, this isn't just my show. You know, I'm responsible to a lot of people. I know we were in the Navy together, but I, I just can't use you. Nights were long. We've got to use them. What well, we just can't be in the sketch, Jack. You've got to find something else for him to do. Hmm. Stub, look, I'll use you on the show, but you, you just don't fit into the sketch. Maybe it would be better if we waited until some other week and I'll find something that you can do. But, Jack, I told all the boys at the base to be watching the show this week that I'd be on working with you. Well, okay, but... But, Stubb, what are we going to do? You can't act. You don't fit in the sketch. Hey, I've got it. Why don't you and I do the act we did when we were in the Navy? Oh, Stubb, that's such an old act. It's passe now. That's from the First World War. That act is so old, I I'm not going to do anything like that on my show. Nice. <laughs> to continue with the show. Tonight, we have a surprise for you. During the First World War, when Jack was in the Navy, he met his first partner, Stubb Walker, at the Great Lakes Naval Training Station. They did an act together in a Navy show. And tonight, they're back together again, recreating the same act they did over 40 years ago. And here they are, Walker and Benny! this world has to face. They blame it on this and they blame it on that. But they don't seem to get any place. Oh, it isn't the lipstick that cocktails the jazz, that causes the gurney to fall. 
It's the mother who says if you're not home at 10, you don't have to come home at all. <laughs> I'm sorry the way things turned out. It's all right. I, I promised, and I did. Well, you were right. I've been away from this business too long to come back now. Well, I'll go up and get my gear and be on my way. I don't know how a guy could think he could come back after 40 years and get by with doing a corny act like that. Oh, I'll get it. Oh. Hello? Oh, just a moment. This for you, boss. Your sponsor. Oh, boy, I was afraid he'd call. <laughs> oh, brother. Hello, Mr. Lewis. Oh, you watch the show, eh? Well, before you say anything, Believe me, I couldn't help. I was in the spot. You know, the, he was an old Navy buddy of mine, and I, I had to give him a chance. I assure you, it, it'll never happen. What? You like to? <laughs> Sentimental? <laughs> Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis, stop crying. <laughs> what? You want me to have him on my show again next week? <laughs> and the week after that? <laughs> of course I can get him. I mean, he's my best friend. If that's what you want, I, I promise you he'll be on the show. <laughs> yes, sir. How do you like that? Jack, I got all my stuff, so I guess I'll be running along. And Wait a thanks minute. again for everything. Wait a minute, stop. <laughs> Wait a minute, don't go. What? I, I want you to be on my show again next week. Oh, Jack, you're just being sweet, but I've decided I don't want to be in show business. I'm signing up for another hitch in the Navy. But stop. I need you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but my mind is made up. So long, pal. Stella. Stella. Nice. <laughs> gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed the show. I want to thank this wonderful actor who played the part of my Navy buddy. His real name is Jack Pepper. <laughs> you know, I, I just can't get over it. My performance? No, no, that ad in the paper, a suit with two pair of pants, twelve fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, folks, and I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs>